Okay, we have a great question from somebody in our community. Summer Chan asks, what is voicing? How is it important? A, a very, very good question. Uh, so I'm going to answer this using uh, the piano mostly, but I will draw up there if I need to. Okay, voicing is really all about solving the problem of disjointed notes. So when you are playing chord progressions and things like this, and you're jumping around from chord to chord, that's just a simple one, four, five, one progression. Well, the problem with that is, is that first of all, you have to move your hand uh, each time. And also the sound of the notes, it's very jumpy. Whereas if you use what's called proper voice leading, that sounds a lot better because the notes all move between one another in a way that makes sense. Uh, usually you want to move notes in the smallest way possible. So once again, you're just avoiding jumping around all the notes. Now it's, uh, like I said, it's important because it really helps music flow together rather than have that disjointed sound. Um, and so when you are moving between each chord, what you want to do is you want to, first of all, in most music, you should start looking at music in terms of voices. So let me kind of show you what I mean here. Oops. Okay, just using this little chord here between the two hands as an example. You should really look, start looking at music in terms of voices. So you start want to start looking at it, you know, maybe as a soprano is always the top voice, you know, if you're doing a choir kind of thing, alto, tenor, and bass. And a lot of times when you're moving between chord and chord, you'll notice that each hand, not all the time, will keep the same amount of notes or the same, um, the same amount of voices. So what you can start looking at is how each voice moves between one another. So for example, the C, the top voice moves from C to D. You got the middle voice moving from F to G. You got the uh, next one moving from A to G, and then the bottom one from C to D. So obviously you can start tracing them across and start seeing them in terms of um, actual voices. Actually, let me just draw a line to connect them. I'm not doing the best job right now. <laughs> All right, and then let me do this. So as you can see, each uh, note in the chord moves to another note in the chord. And you notice that a lot of times notes will move in a very small amount of movement between uh, or from voice to voice. Okay, back on the piano. So what some basic voice leading rules is that you want to first look at the chord you're moving between. So say we're moving between a C major chord and an F major chord. Now let's apply some basic voice leading rules to this. So for the first thing you want to do is you want to retain any common tones, which, you know, as the name implies, any notes that are in common uh, between both keys. So if you have a C major chord, maybe of C, E, and G, actually, let me get back to the piano here. I think it should show you better here. C, E, and G, and then you got an F major chord made up of F, A, and C, which note do they have in common? Well, C, right? So when I'm moving between the C chord, C, E, and G, to the next chord, F major, I have to keep the C exactly where it is, on the bottom, on the bottom voice. Now you're going to be moving the uh, top voice up to the next nearest uh, chord note. So if I have a G here in C major, you got to ask yourself what note in the F uh, chord makes the most sense. Well, you could either actually move to an A or an F. The problem with if you move to an F though is that you'll have nowhere for the E to move. So in this case, you'll actually want to move it to a uh, to a G, and then so you have um, C, E, and G going or to an A rather, sorry. And then you want to be moving the uh, middle voice, the E, up to an F. So sorry about that. Yeah, you're moving the G up to an A, the E up to an F, and the C is staying the same. So two rules. Number one, retain any common tones. Number two, move each voice by the smallest amount possible, usually uh, a semitone or a whole tone 
or half step or whole step, you may be familiar with that. So if you're moving between the next this chord, the F major chord, which happens to be in second inversion, and you're moving to the next chord, say a G major chord, well, step number one is retain any common tones. Well, there aren't any. So what you gotta do is you gotta try to move each voice in a way that makes sense to be able to fit to the next chord. So you have A here, you wanna move A up to B, you want to move the F to G, that makes sense because you have G, B, and then we need a D as well. So you're going to move the C up to a D. So if you have no common tones at all, you just have to move each one by the smallest amount possible. So that's really the answer to it. Voice, proper voice leading is important because it really helps you, um, it really helps the music sound like it moves in a way that makes sense. It's not jumping all around all over the place and then of course you uh, want to look back and really get in your mind uh, how you want to be moving between chords when you are playing them okay and if you want to learn more about chords and chord progressions i'm going to put a link in the description for you and also a pop-up uh, that you can click on so you can learn more about this topic